What's up guys, just 3D printing some Anki Overdrive rails, so let's go. Alright guys, so back in the gym now. What I've ended up doing is printing off a lot of these uh, Anki rails. Um, now I'm going to try some of them out. Now, as you can see, we've got a bunch of them lined up here. Now there's three types of these 3D printed tracks. You've got the inside rail, which is just one piece that would sit on there. You've got your straights, which I've got two of them just sitting over there. Then you have the outside rail, which is comprised of three separate pieces and you would attach them onto the board. Now, now the clips that you use also come as part of the 3D print file. But every time I tried them, they came out a bit rough. So even if I printed them sideways, 90 degree, 45 degree angle, whatever it is, it just always came out a bit weird. So if I was to try and pop these on, they're barely going on at all or just snapping straight away. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be throwing these one into the recycle bin and reusing the plastic down the track. So in future I might try and print a bigger size, but in the meantime, just to show you guys these rails, what I've done is added these, I think they're called bulldog clips or paper clips, something like that. You could use something, even just a, a basic paper clip to hold these down, and that's actually quite rigid there. So what I'm gonna do is get the cars running around and intentionally, as you can see, I've put a massive rise on that intentionally make them roll down and bounce off the rail just so we can see how this works Alright, so as you can see there, the tracks did work quite well. Um, obviously they popped off when the car ran directly into it. Um, but if I had some clips that were a bit stronger and holding that down, I think that would be quite helpful to have um, in certain areas of your track. You may not want to do it across your entire track, um, but if there's certain areas where you're constantly falling off because there's a dip like that, it might be a good place to put it. That way you don't have to get up and actually place the car back on the track um, as often as you might have to. What do you think, Lenny? You watching? So I think in all, that worked out quite well with the actual prints and even just their, how they worked. So you can buy these rail kits as well if you really wanted to. Um, the only downside being is that the kits themselves are around 30 bucks, whereas for me to make a bunch of these, I think they cost me about a dollar for the lot. And this is just the design that I was using. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can go and check those out. Thanks to the author who made those 3D print files. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.